Hi there. Um, I've had quite a few questions regarding the use of foaming pomade when straightening from the newsletter I sent out this week. Um, so I thought I'd better, better just put a video out just clarify exactly what I mean about how much to use and uh, what I meant about rolling or not rolling the wrist. So this is the foaming pomade. Um, it is normally a finishing product, so you would normally put the product on afterwards. However, I use it quite often when I want very smooth, flat kind of hair during the process of straightening. So I'll put a little bit on the plates here, and I do mean a little bit. It's just to help the, the hair dry through a little bit better. So I'll just um, turn it on. Now obviously you, you, you put the, um, the product on cold plates, one so you don't burn yourself, and secondly, um, it just it smooth it works along the blades uh, the plates sorry much better. If, it's, if they were too hot, it would bubble straight away and evaporate, and really it's not going to benefit you that that much. So anyway, I've pre-done this side just 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 quickly just now just to show you how you know the hair sits flatter, it sits smoother, it shouldn't look greasy or over sort of a, a, too much product applied. Um, now, what I was on about with the, the technique is normally when people straighten the hair themselves, um, they're standing there and they're kind of rolling the blades through. So you can see the product's just evaporating and steaming a little bit. Now, um, what I'm saying is keep the wrist locked out. So you pull it straight through as opposed to this. Okay? Um, you'll get a completely different result. If this had been rolled through, then the hair's going to have more bend on it, and that defeats the object what we're try trying to achieve here. Obviously, it's your taste, and you, whatever you want to do is fine, but this is how you get that smoother look. So simply, um, just take the residue of product, actually, not much there now, so just take a little bit more product, see how little I use. The nice thing about most, well, all pull mitchell products are actually, you, you really don't need to use that much. All the products are of great value. They, they really do last a long time. So anyway, what we're doing here is just working the residue through. Um, go lightly. Okay, You can probably do, you don't need to use tiny sections. So I'm probably just say about three sections. One, two, three when you're working on the, on the hair yourself. So you just simply take the hair Take a cutting comb or, or any large tooth comb you have at home. Take it in your hand. Put the blade, I call them blades, sorry, but actually they're plates. And if you look at my wrist, as it is going down, the wrist is not moving. Okay, so let's do that once more. Go in and pull down and smooth out. When we let go, we let that cool off. Resist combing it through straight away. Do let the hair cool off. It's the same thing with curls actually, is the hair will set better. So then we just take another piece of the hair, and I'm not going to do this whole head, I'm literally just showing you the technique and then you can go and experiment with it. Put the blade in, or the plates in, slide it down, hold the end if you can, get it right the way through to the bottom, and away you go. And you can see the hair's looking shinier, as the heat seals in the product. Combing it down, I'm not letting it cool off actually, just going to let you have a quick look at it. What it tends to do as well, you know, it tends to make the colours stand out. You can see this floodlight that's in there. So just ignore the fluffy bit for the moment. But there we go. So once more, take it through. Okay, so it's not roll. It's locked the wrist out, straight down, and that's it. Let's have a quick look at the finish. Comb it through. If we look from the front, then that hair is sitting very flat and smooth. And that's basically how you get that look. Hope that helps you out, and uh, have fun with it.